The following video is made for educational and harm reduction purposes. It does not encourage or glorify the use of legal or illegal substances. This video is a story from my past and my subjective view of that experience. Merging with simulator in three, two, one. What's up, everybody? Today I'm talking to you about ketamine, and specifically the first time that I K-hold off of ketamine. And if you don't know what ketamine is, ketamine is this disassociative drug. It's in the same class as DXM and PCP, but don't worry, it is a lot different than PCP. Um, even though I think sometimes PC PCP gets kind of a bad rap. But <laughs> anyways, so I heard about all these different like ketamine wellness centers and stuff being set up across the United States because apparently ketamine is being shown to be very effective for people with treatment resistant depression and um you know as somebody who's dealt with a good amount of depression myself i figured that it'd be a good one to try you know of course safely testing all your drugs with the kit and uh weighing out your doses and having a good set and setting you know all those things <laughs> but anyway so the first time that I tried ketamine, um, I only took like a small dose. And to me, that small dose actually felt very similar to DXM. But then like a few weeks later, um, I tried ketamine a second time and I took a much larger dose, um, a K-hole, a K-hole size dose. And let me tell you, that was a completely different experience. Like it was very psychedelic even though ketamine isn't one of these like classic tryptamine psychedelics that primarily act on like your 5h2a serotonin receptors apparently ketamine has this different mechanism of action and it's more they say gabinergic which i don't completely understand what that means but you know i've read some things about it which is uh partly what they attribute the antidepressant effect of it to but anyway, so the second time that I took it, I took the ketamine and ketamine takes about 20 minutes for the effects to kick in. And I would say the effects last for about an hour. And so once the effects started kicking in, <clears throat> it almost felt like I fell into myself. Like I was falling <clears throat> into the back of my head, almost like this void and in this void i started to see myself from like a third person point of view which can happen on other psychedelics too but this was different for me in my case and i saw myself from not only this like third person point of view but from the perspective of people who are like important to me in my life being like my mom and some of my friends and my son um yeah it's just very interesting and what i kind of learned from that was that of course like all these people they loved me and they wanted the best for me but their main concern with me was that um i guess my sort of self-imprisonment um meaning that like they saw all this potential in me but they knew that the biggest obstacle I had to face was like getting out of my own way, which I can agree with, you know. Um, <laughs> I think we all have trouble getting out of our own way sometimes to like reach our true potential, but yeah, that's that's been one of my biggest challenges um, for sure. But I also, in this ketamine journey, I, um, I got a real, like breakdown of I guess what you can call the butterfly effect um, <laughs> which is uh, I don't know it's it's not a great term for it I guess because well it, it is a good term because how it started was it was like showing me from the time I was a kid like a little kid all of the <clears throat> experiences and decisions that I made that led me up into being the led up into me being the person that I am today like um yeah and it was 
showing me how like all these different micro decisions lead to like this big macro result and uh it was showing me like the potentials for my future um and like it, it felt almost like it was showing me like i'm like a train on train tracks and with the pull of my lever which i guess you can say represents my decisions there's an infinite amount of these cross sections i can take and they all lead to a completely different path you know um very similar to like one of those choose your own adventure books that you would read as a kid where it's like all right you made this decision so flip to page 86 and so you flip to page 86 and then it's like all right well here you what do you want to do here and then you flip to another page and it's like a whole bunch of different ways that this story can play out based on the decisions you make um kind of like the multiverse theory i guess this theory that like there is an infinite amount of parallel universes that we can exist in but it's all based on the decisions that we make and um you know there's like this consensus feeling that like we're in we're in reality this is how this reality has always been it's how it's always going to be but like the multiverse theory kind of challenges that um yeah i've been reading this one book ever since that ketamine uh ketamine journey i've actually finished reading it but it's called the engineering of coincidence and it's about magic and not like flying on broomsticks i'm a wizard harry like that kind of magic more like um magic where it's like you're using your free will to manifest um a certain desired state or experience in this world um the, using your free will to maneuver you into what reality you want to exist in yeah so it was a very good book and i would not say i'm a magician yet <laughs> i am just beginning <laughs> uh but yeah uh so that was my ketamine experience my first k-hole experience and i've had a couple of others since then but um i'm probably just gonna make different videos about those because they're kind of like their own thing you know so yeah i hope you enjoyed the video um remember i'm not encouraging you to do drugs at all I'm just telling you my experiences with them but if you do decide to do something like ketamine you really need to test that stuff you know with the drug testing kit make sure there's no fentanyl anything like that in it um yeah and also make sure you weigh out your doses have a good set and setting all that stuff okay guys be safe out there um and also don't do drugs if you don't feel ready or you you don't want to or you don't feel like it's for you you know yeah everyone's got to walk their own path and i'm just telling you about my path uh yeah so i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you for the next one um have a beautiful day peace out